Okay, what we've done here is built one side of the frame. Uh, Joe's just socking up that one bolt, and we'll show you on the inside. And then what we'll wind up doing is building the other half. We'll just take the main frame and just bolt it up to the other side to give us a complete standing frame on gear. Uh, on the next session, after we do the editing, Joe's going to flip it around. I'm going to show you our triple bearing blocks, clutch stock, rear PTO in, um, and our bottom landing gear bolts with our doublers. So. Uh, on the next cut, we'll put the other side back on and keep going. Alright, so here's our completed mainframe assembly. What's going to be going in next is our mechanics for our servos along with our motor. We'll detail that once that's installed. As you can see, the new Mac black gears are also installed from the factory. Alright, so we have the DFC 600 aligned nitro motors in place. We have the sensor for the governor in, main gears in. Um, we got the black gears in there for the uh, PTO. We got tail cases in. Fly bar, fly head is in with the new swash plate. Servos are in. Front servo trays in, installed. The line mufflers on. Joe's in the background assembling the uh, the boom and tail rotor assembly, and that'll be going on next. And something new Align did in here, so you guys can see, is this piece right here actually helps you put the offset in right. Uh, so the DFC is uh, the swash plate has uh, zero phasing in it; it holds the phasing for you correctly, so it slides over the tube and then you just lock everything down, all the bell cranks are in place and stuff. So we'll be working on rods um, and servos and linkage in the next uh, few minutes.